Hello. Today we're going to film my vocal folds once again. This time I'm going to try singing two different ways. One that would be regarded as mixed voice and other that would might might be regarded as belting. And I must highlight before I begin that these are just kind of my interpretations about mixed voice and belting. In the field of vocal coaching there are like many different interpretations about these but I will of course be using my inter interpretation and I will try to explain quickly the difference in the sound. I'm gonna demonstrate first uh, without the camera in my throat um, and uh, what we're going to do we're going to use a vowel for both of these so it's easier to compare when they're done in same vowel and we're going to use quite high pitch level uh, above the register break. I'm going to use about E4. And this is because these singing uh, styles uh, are kind of, uh, I might put it in a way that they're more useful in higher uh, pitch levels because they kind of also allow us to sing in some. In, in a in some different way to uh, somewhat different way to singing in falsetto and that's often what we want we don't only want to sing this hey we kind of we want want to go hey or hey so that's also pretty much what is the difference in my opinion with belting and mixed voice first was what i regard as belting and the second mixed voice so once again Hey! Hey! So, I think it in the in such a way that the belting is the more kind of the type of singing that sounds more like shouting or yelling compared to the mixed voice, which has mixed voice again has this bit of a cry in it, and also the sound is more maybe restricted is a bad word, but the sound of kind of stays a little bit more inside my vocal track compared to belting where it kind of explodes outside from my mouth. So let's try doing that with the camera in my mouth, in my throat and see how these look. I will probably need to adjust the camera a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bend it a little more. Okay, and then we got some stuff on the camera itself. Let's see. How's the picture? This happens. And I must also say that it's more difficult to sing with the camera in the throat, so the sound quality will be. I'm not going to likely be able to perform those as well as with the demo I just did. Uh-huh. 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 Cool. I managed to touch with the camera something that happens. Let's try again. I think that was pretty decent. Ooh. 
Oh. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, very difficult to sing when the camera is down there because I'm not able to probably make exactly the same adjustments that I would be doing without the camera. Because it, every time the camera kind of touches something, it will make me cough really bad. Uh, so I kind of also, my reflex, reflex would be, I, I try to keep everything a little bit sort of maybe more open that might be in reality. But my analysis based on this, what I saw, um, I think that, um, well, the first obvious or maybe actually only thing that I was able to pick up with this experiment was that the belting had quite a bit more higher larynx and you could notice that because when I was belting the the kind of the vocal folds came closer to the camera while in mixed voice they were low uh more further away from the camera uh which means that the larynx was kind of lowering when I was doing mixed voice and if I remember correctly I was first doing the mixed voice if, if it wasn't clear from the sound the first trial was where I aimed to sing mixed voice and the second kind of uh, where I tried to go towards belting so that we were able to see while I was kind of wondering if I would be seeing uh, which I didn't so clearly. It is. It can be so. Probably, well, sort of a hypothesis is that in belting, uh, you might witness a little bit shorter vocal folds actually, and also in that way that the vocal folds are not stretching from the from the anterior, so the kind of the front connect, connecting. The point of connection in the front end of the vocal folds, they wouldn't be stretching that much, much. And uh, it, well, you you see you, in the video you saw the kind of the front end of the, well, basically the side of my neck. Uh, in the video, which was kind of the bottom end of the screen. So uh, basically, when when we are uh, singing higher, often our uh, vocal folds kind of stretch in a way that the this the connection that is the part that is connected here in the front it kind of uh lowers so it gets further away from the back end of the vocal folds kind of stretching them which makes the same effect uh that happens when you make the strings of guitar uh you make them more um you kind of stretch them by by turning the uh, tuning knob. I don't know if that's the correct term, but anyways, that what happens. The guitar strings get, uh, they start vibrating faster due to this stretching, and uh, the pitch also increases or rises. So that what well, that is one way for the vocal folds to kind of uh, uh, adjust the pitch. However, in belting, the vocal folds in theor theory uh, would likely be shorter and thicker. And the uh, adjusting of pitch happens a little bit in in different way. There there is basically muscle inside of the vocal folds, and in belting, it is kind of the, th the theory is that we use shorter vocal folds, but the vocal folds are inside them. They are uh, more um, what is the word? Uh, kind of uh, rigid. Yes, so the word probably well, what I was looking for was stiff, maybe rather than rigid. But well, anyways, that that's what what we can also produce by uh, stiffening the muscle inside the vocal folds, and that should also increase the pitch, sort of. So belting would probably, in theory, rely a bit more in the second uh, strategy strategy of uh, increasing the pitch. So activating the muscle inside by increase and that way increasing the stiffness, which would inc also increase the pitch. Uh, and that mechanism for increasing pitch is usually we kind of see that 
as part of being more in chest register, closer to chest register phonation, because in chest register the vocal folds are sort also sort of shorter and thicker in their size, helping to make this more uh, more more sort of uh, a more bigger sound that we often use when we speak, usually. And uh, the other kind of end of the spectrum would be what we refer to as head voice or falsetto, where we mainly rely on stretching the vocal folds when we increase the pitch. Uh, and in that case, the vocal folds remain quite thin also. So, I went already quite a bit on that subject, but that, those were sort of my hypotheses that I thought that I might have been able to pick up, but I didn't so much, and that is also likely because the front of the uh, front end of the vocal folds there they were sort of hiding below the uh, cartilages and uh, uh, and the tissues, so it was pretty hard to witness. Uh, yeah. But something like that. I'm gonna try to a little bit demonstrate without the camera in my throat what sort of uh, phonation we are talking about, if it was still unclear for somebody. <clears throat> so the mixed voice usually has this bit of a more kind of sweeter or um, um, kind of restricted sound quality and uh, we often, when we sing, we also keep our mouth a little bit more closed. And as we saw, likely a little bit lower larynx as well. And we end up having a bit of this type of... Compared to belting again. Hey yeah yeah hey yeah 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 So that's again the kind of the difference demonstrated in a little bit more more pitch pitch levels as well and uh just to sing some of the high if we were to have the wall this E4 let's see how this might go Hey hey yeah 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 And that's about the belting, about the belting quality in my kind of in my philosophy. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, consider sub subscribing to my channel and pressing the like button as well. And uh, I have a ton of other videos, interesting videos about singing and vocal technique. You're welcome to check check out those as well. Uh, and uh, all the time new videos coming as well. So stay tuned. Bye.